one of several things that can motivate people, anyone, is a stretch goal that's in a direction that means something to them. If you give somebody a stretch goal that is in an area which it doesn't interest, excite, or they feel any passion towards, you can forget about much success there. But if they're excited and passionate about something, and you give them a goal that's a stretch goal, you'll find the level of motivation rises significantly. I respectfully disagree with SMART goals, because what does S stand for? Specific. M is? Measurable. What is A? Achievable. And R is? Realistic results. And T is? Time bound. What? Amazing. You all got MBAs. <laughs> the problem about SMART goals, and, and, and you know, people in management circles trot up this, oh, a good goal must be a SMART goal. It's true. It's easy to remember the acronym, but I just respectfully disagree with how they work. They don't work, and here's the reason why. I have a problem with the A. A goal that's easily achievable doesn't excite. It doesn't motivate, because there's not, there doesn't have the spice of uncertainty of success. Only when the, the outcome is a little bit uncertain do you really feel that you want to give the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Work harder at it. And I think if you've got a team that you feel that are already motivated, they can take on stretch goals. And Everest was a stretch goal for Singapore mountaineers, where in 1990, the highest mountain then climbed was a 6,000-meter peak. And Everest is a lot bigger than that.